I'm Really Random Reviews. I hope you're all fine and well and having a great day. So what is a ledger, I hear you ask? Well, it's a wallet in the form of a USB which you keep on your person, which keeps all of your NFTs, your investments, a cryptocurrency safe. It doesn't matter whether you have a single Bitcoin, Dogecoin or Ethereum, or whether you have millions, you obviously want to keep this as safe as humanly possible. A ledger is a fine way to do this. You can pick these up from Amazon for around £66 for the Nano S Plus, but you can also get the Nano S and the Nano X. They all have multiple platform support, including mobile. I'll leave links in the description as always. So let's go and get our ledger, guys. Huh? Whoa. Two key points to keep in mind when obtaining your ledger. Ensure you're purchasing it through an official vendor. Don't use third party sellers. Ledgers have a store on eBay and on Amazon, so make sure you use the official stores. And secondly, you want to make sure your ledger is completely sealed. It shouldn't be tampered with in any way. With that being said, let's take a look at the Nano S Plus. So it comes in this nice grey premium sleeved box with another little black box inside. We've got this silver L logo engraved on the front there. It feels lightweight. And then we're greeted with a silver shiny card which says trust yourself. Then we have the ledger and the secret recovery sheet. We'll take a look at the ledger first. So this has a nice brushed steel outer casing. It looks really good. Feels very well made. We've got the curved edge on one side and the loop. We've got resilient by design there. We've got two buttons on the top. And then this just folds out. And we've got the USB type C port on the top there. And then the LCD screen. Feels very well made. Good. So this is the secret recovery sheet. This is an envelope which contains our secret phrases or should I say the card that we write our secret phrases on. This contains 24 secret words. We'll talk about this in a moment, but we've been given three of these. So that's very good. We've got a spare there or one for emergencies if we make any mistakes. So the next tier of the box then we've got a little purple envelope. This has got your instructions and stuff in there start your crypto journey with ledger then we've got a nice little ledger sticker white and black so you can have either color there that's pretty cool and then we've got another little box inside here i assume this contains the usb lead oops something's dropped out there so yeah it's a braided usb cable and a little keyring thing Again, got the L logo on, that's pretty cool. Probably won't use that, but nice little addition, I suppose. We've got the black braided USB to USB type C. It's not very long, but it doesn't need to be. It's gonna be plugged into your computer while you're using this. And you can tell which lead you're using because it's got the L logo on, which is very useful. You don't wanna be using power leads and stuff like that on this ledger. You wanna be using the correct lead for this. So let's take this over to the computer then and take a look at the setup process. So go to your desktop and type in the search bar ledger.live. This will take you to the ledger website. Check that this is the official website. You can do this by just checking the address bar and then you wanna click on that website and then click download. As you can see, it's compatible with Windows, Mac and Linux and also mobile so that's pretty cool that you've got access to it across all devices so i'm going to click download and i'm going to save to my desktop i don't want it saving to my music files so save that to desktop then click allow to run on system and then click install it'll take around three or four minutes to install and then you want to go ahead and open the ledger live app 
just put this on full screen click get started you've got terms of service and the privacy notifications there I do recommend you take a read through those but I'll save doing that for the sake of this video next then you're going to be met with this page asking which device you're using we've got the Nano S the Nano S plus and the Nano X the Nano S I would recommend avoiding, not necessarily avoiding, but the Nano S Plus is a much better updated version of the standard S. The standard S only allows you to install three cryptocurrency apps, whereas the S Plus allows you to install a hundred cryptocurrency apps. So the things you're going to need for this then, we're going to need the 24 phrase envelope, a pen, the USB and our ledger. You want to go ahead and plug the ledger into your PC, you'll be met with a welcome note and then you want to click on the right button just to scroll through the welcome note. Then you'll be met with this setup screen and it will tell you to choose a pin number anywhere from 4 to 8 characters. So I recommend you doing your pin number, I'm not going to show you mine, but once you've set up your pin code, confirm on the ledger website that you have set up your pin code on your ledger then you want to click next which will take us to the recovery phrase part of the setup so again click I understand and then click next this will tell you to grab the recovery sheet and to write down the 24 words that get displayed on the ledger so go ahead and grab your ledger device and when you're ready, hold down both buttons to reveal your first word. I'll show you my first three or four words just so you can get what I'm doing here. But my first word was scheme. And my second word is stadium. My third word is essay. And as you can see here on my sheet, I've written down one, two, three, and so on. These need to be written down exactly as they are shown on screen and they also need to be in the exact order. Anything else will be a fail at the security check and you will not get access to your ledger. This is vitally important guys, you need to keep this 24 phrase sheet as safe as humanly possible. I recommend putting it inside a safe or putting it with your passport maybe or something like that. Once you've successfully set everything up, the ledger will do a final check basically just to make sure that the device is fully set up and that it is a genuine device. And then you'll get a notification and some confetti on screen to say your device is ready to go. And you can now start to install your crypto applications, whether it be Bitcoin or NFTs or whatever you want to install. As I said, the Nano S Plus can hold up to 100 cryptos, which is far better than the older version. The S could only have three. The X, again, is a much bigger version and it doesn't have the buttons on it. Some people don't really like the buttons, but I don't mind them at all. I actually like the functionality of the Nano Plus. I think it's a great little device, especially for people who are investing in cryptos. NFTs and things like that. You also have access to the markets and stuff. You can buy Bitcoin here. You can do a few cool things. You can also add to your wallet from here. You'll obviously need to set up some accounts and things like that. But yeah, it's pretty good so far in my experience. So overall, I'm going to give this a solid 5 stars out of 5 just because I love how secure this thing actually is and security is really important. I don't have much crypto at the moment, but I do intend on having more in the future. So hopefully this will be my secure device for storing all of that crypto. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you found any part of this video helpful at all or if you enjoyed any part of it, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers guys so any help towards that number would be absolutely massive. So a click on that red subscribe button would be greatly appreciated. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other and until next time, I'm Really Random Reviews. And I'll see you in my next video.